Hi there, it's Claire from Clarify Creations. Good morning. It is a very important day today, May 8th, 2023, my last ever exam in nursing school. And it's not just any exam, it is the ATI Comprehensive Predictor. I am 10 days out from graduating the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, and we have to do something called the Comprehensive Predictor. And it's basically a standardized test, 180 questions, three hour time limit, and you have to get above a certain score to graduate. Most programs, that score is around a 70, and I've heard of 80%, which I couldn't even imagine. UT, it's counting for 50% of one of our credit grades. We have something called Prep for Licensure, and that is a one credit course that um, is 50% of the, our ATI grade today. So that being said, the minimum I can get to pass the course and like I said, walk for graduation is a 52.7%. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but these exams are so hard and I have not done super well on a lot of them. I'm starting to get better. Anyways, that is where I'm at. The exam starts at one o'clock. The way they did it is the first half of the alphabet, A through I, are currently taking theirs now. So my best friend is already taking the exam and I wish I was also in that same group because I don't wanna sit here for another few more hours and keep thinking about it. But you know what? Last names that are towards the end of the alphabet, I know you guys understand it's, sad sometimes that you can't go first but you know what it is what it is i'm gonna go on campus in just a little bit so that way i can get prepared eat lunch and just go over some notes that i took afterwards sarah's gonna be coming over and she's gonna spend the night so we're gonna have a fun couple days i logged on to the ati portal and look what just showed up proctored comprehensive predictor 2023. I don't think I mentioned this, but I have done, I want to say around 600 to 700 practice questions. I've honestly lost count because after a while, they all just run together. I believe I did around 200 yesterday. I took a full-on comprehensive practice yesterday. It wasn't one of the practice A's or B's. It was just a quiz I found, the dynamic quizzing. And that was, you know, a full length one. And I scored a 60%, which is okay, but it is a little cutting it close to a 53. I wish I would have gotten a higher score just to make myself feel better. guys, I am graduating from nursing school. I'm graduating college and I couldn't be more excited. Oh my goodness. So let me just share all about the ATI exam. I went in super nervous and I was going through it thinking I have no idea what half of the stuff is and a lot of it is stuff I'd never heard of before and I was clicking through the questions thinking well I just need a 53 just please give me a 53 and I clicked 180 and I hit submit and it says 75 percent which is far more than what I needed to pass I am so thankful that I'm gonna be graduating as a nursing student oh it is such a relief and my 75 um, correlates to a 95% of passing the NCLEX. So 75 doesn't sound fantastic, but it actually is pretty good. And I am very happy that I am just passing and doing well. So now let's celebrate. Sarah's coming over. We're gonna have our own little party. This was the last thing that was the wait before graduation. And now we're just gonna be coasting for the rest of the week. If you are also in a similar boat with ATI and you feel like you know nothing and you're terrible at it, I am right there with you. And it is frustrating, but know that it will work out and you will become a nurse. Okay guys. Sarah and I are about to take graduation pictures just right around my house in the neighborhood. So we are in 
our full regalia, almost, or is it regalia? No, that doesn't sound right, it's regalia. Got the power tees on, and we're gonna take some just best friend pictures. We finished up taking pictures, and now let me show you guys the actual ATI screen just so you can see what the screen looked like when I click submit. You can see I spent one hour and 48 minutes. BSN, 95% chance of passing the NCLEX according to ATI. Good morning everyone. It is the next day. Sarah and I are going to House Mountain to celebrate being done with ATI and everything. So I thought it'd be fun to include it in this portion of the vlog because I only have a couple minutes of vlog footage. It looks like a beautiful day out and we're gonna stop over there and hike a mountain and come back and I think we might be getting dinner or dinner. Hey guys, a little update. This is currently where we are stopping for a little break. It is super hot up here, but thankfully there are no thunderstorms. We're hiking the West Overlook Trail on the House Mountain route. We are 0.6 miles in <laughs> and just 0.2 more to go and we should be at the top overlook. Right now it looks very promising, but I will show you all the view in a little bit. <laughs> It is truly the climb uphill. And this is more of a softer incline. Oh, we're definitely getting in our workout today. Yeah, for the, for the year. <laughs> for the year. Yeah. It's only May. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now that is some steepness. We did it. We made it to the top of the mountain. Overlook number two. Overlook number three. You see some Knoxville farmland. We're at the highest point in Knox County. So we're gonna be sliding down a mountain. Really getting close to the earth here. Are you recording while you're going down the side of a mountain? Yes, I am. We're embracing the wilderness challenge. And we're also going to try not to fall in the process. We've had a couple near near falls. Yeah, me. So, yeah, and me. Oh, yes. So, I'm actually going to put the camera away now. Yes. That way, there are no issues. Okay, everyone. This is the route we just took to get down here. You can see we started all the way up here and went through the rocks. And this is the route we could have taken. Straight and paved well. We chose the ladder and it was difficult, but we are at the bottom successfully. You know, we like a challenge. <laughs> yep, we got some dirt on our hands. Yeah. If you don't got um, the mud on, your skin, then you're not wilderness and right. God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. <laughs> there you go. Unless you don't like touching worms. Okay. You don't <laughs> like touching worms? No. There's a snake on a tree. Okay, we're gonna back away slowly. Two and a half hours later, survived the trail. We are back and ended up getting Mexican food and ice cream after. But anyways guys, I will see you all later. Bye!